Hi everyone, Renee here, and today I've got my body care video for you. I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite Bath & Body products. So the body cleansers that I go for tend to be quite similar to the ones that I use on my face in the sense that they are sulfate-free and they're a little bit more on the acidic side. I feel like this switch, just like for the skin on my face, has made probably one of the more transformative differences to the skin on the rest of my body. Most of you guys already know how much I love this, which is Ren's Moroccan Rose Auto Body Wash. I've been using this for years, along with the other scents, actually. I've used every single scent. Um, my other favorite would be the grapefruit one. This uses natural bioactive ingredients. There's nothing toxic or unfriendly to the skin in here. It's also a cruelty-free brand. This has a subtle but beautiful natural scent of Rose Damaskina. There's no added artificial fragrance in here. It's just beautifully luxurious. This never leaves my skin feeling dry or stripped, but still very clean. It's actually quite low foaming if you're using your hand, but if you use it with one of these amazing things, then it will lather up to something really satisfying. This definitely helps create that generous, satisfying foam. And also for body washes like this, it also helps it go further. So I also absolutely love this for those hard to reach areas. This will get your back. It's got that perfect curved wooden handle, so it really gets into places. I actually replace these sponges every single month, which is fine because they're not expensive, so. I gotta say, I also love oil cleansers. This has sort of become my new obsession. This is what I'm using the most now. Firstly, the L'Occitane Almond Cleansing and Softening Shower Oil. Again, this uses just the most gentle natural cleansing agents, no sulfates, yet this actually lathers quite beautifully. It's got a very faint almond scent to it, which is just nice. I love that they moisturize as they cleanse. It's just so perfect for this time of year. It's not gonna leave any residual oiliness on your skin, but you just won't be stripped and dry. This is full of natural skin conditioners. I mean, if it's L'Occitane, it's gotta have shea butter in it. It's got coconut oil in it, grapeseed oil, um, glycerin, apricot, almond, honey, vitamin E. It's, it's just so nourishing. Another more recent discovery is this one from Too Cool For School. I actually love the body products at Too Cool For School. They're actually really innovative. This is their Coconut Milky Oil Shower Moisturizing Body Wash. This formula is 84% natural ingredients, including their naturally derived surfactant, which is from coconuts. While this is more just like an oil that turns into foam, this is like a milky sort of oil emulsion that turns into foam. Anyway, it's, it's really cool. And honestly, I've never been a big fan of like that whole coconut scent, and a lot of it has to do with those cheap drugstore sunscreens but this is actually quite a nice coconut scent. It's actually not that strong. You will smell it when you're first applying it, but it does go away. This contains oatmeal, soybean oil, coconut oil, and coconut water. Let's talk about body treatments now, the ones that I have found to be so effective. They also kind of fall into the cleanser category because a lot of them tend to be cleansers. So in my oily skin acne prone video, I talked about Dr. Murad's acne body wash. So Murad is a line that I have curated in the past, and Dr. Murad was particularly well known for his acne treatments and his acne treatment products. I remember this body wash being one of the most popular selling items because there weren't many that addressed this issue as well as his product did. It really was one of the first body washes that addressed acne that actually worked and was gentle but effective. This not only helps treat body acne, but it also helps prevent it as well. And what I love is that there are no harsh stripping surfactants in it, but rather it uses acid. This contains 1% salicylic acid, um, the most effective BHA, at just cleansing out those pores and unclogging them. There's also a bit of glycolic acid, so it just helps with exfoliation and just making sure that you don't have that buildup of dead skin, but this also contains date seed powder, which is a really kind of fine, fine little sort of physical exfoliant. You will feel it when you're using it, but it's not really harsh or abrasive. It's, it's sort of gentle. These three elements together just really help kind of scoop out and prevent like the accumulation of like dead skin cells and sebum and, and just dirt and yuck. This formula also contains green tea, licorice root extract, other antioxidants, and skin brighteners, which always helps especially after exercise. This is seriously a very refreshing wash. It's got a very refreshing scent to it. This is also treatment that you don't have to use every day. You could just use it a couple of times a week for prevention. You're gonna have to excuse me while I gush about this next treatment, Glytone's Exfoliating Body Wash. This is 
like going to a Korean spa or a Turkish hammam in a bottle. I mean, if you have chicken skin, the prickly stuff on the back of your arms, chicken skin anywhere on your body, if you have bumps, red bumps, any kind of discoloration, any rough, dry patches, this gets rid of it all. If you have scaly legs, or if you have elbows and knees that are gray with dry patchiness, it will sort everything out and leave you with this baby soft, smooth skin. I discovered this last winter. I went to a spa and that's where they recommended it to me. I swear, I find I make some of my best finds in spas. This does not sound like a gentle formula. In fact, it's got sulfates in it, which I will give this product a pass because it is so incredibly effective. This doesn't actually give me any irritation at all. Although if you do have really problematic skin, you may want to be a little cautious. This definitely foams up quite easily and it's got a scent to it, but it's more of a like very soapy, it's a soapy scent. But yeah, this is my imperfection corrector. I don't use this all the time, just every once in a while. Or if I'm in preparation for something, I will use this. Speaking of Turkish hammams and Korean spas, I also have this mitt that I really love. This is actually an exfoliation mitt that is only meant to be used like once every two weeks. This is definitely not super abrasive or scratchy, but it is a really nice exfoliation tool, especially if you're someone who uses self-tanner, this will do the job. Or if you just want to be really smooth for an event, it, it's an immediate result. This really is more about just eliminating the dead surface skin, um, just quick fix. But yeah, I really, I like it. And I like it because it, a lot less abrasive. It's more of a refined kind of exfoliation than some of the other kind of glove, really wiry, almost Brillo pad type of um, exfoliation mitts. Well, so for exfoliation, actually more for like skin detoxing, there's also dry brushing, and you can either use a boar bristle brush like this, or you can use one of these. I actually like using one of these. The sizzle brush is obviously not as soft as the boar bristle, but you really get a sense of like circulation afterwards. Your skin is just tingling with vitality. I'm just not one of those people who have it so together that this is something I do regularly. Um, I do it once in a while. Let me know if you want a video about dry brushing because I, I know how to do it and I do actually believe in its effectiveness. I do actually prefer dry brushes that come with a handle so it's easier to reach you know, certain areas. So obviously you can't just exfoliate and leave it at that. So now let's talk about some of my favorite skin hydrators and moisturizers. So this, which is the chemistry brand Underdesium, the Hyaluronic Body Mist is a typical example of my excitement for a product driving how I take care of my skin. This was actually a really new purchase for me. I went to their pop-up store in New York City and I saw this and immediately I was intrigued, but it wasn't until I kind of swatched it on my hand that I was like, okay, I need to get this. You should all know how much I love me a good hydrating mist. So the, conceptually, this was already right up my alley. I've been using this every day. I love it. I'm liberal with my mist, so it's kind of concerning me how far up this is going. I feel like it's almost over and that's that makes me very sad. Up until now, the only body mists that I've seen are like the dry oil ones that are usually really kind of scented. When you're first using this, it's it's actually quite cold. It's very refreshing. I can imagine in the summer, this is like the most refreshing thing, but it's actually, it's a little cold in the winter. When you spray it, at first it's just like water and you're patting it in and you're patting it in and at some point, it starts feeling a little tacky. Your skin starts feeling plumped, tacky, and then that just kind of goes away, it disappears and your skin is soft and super smooth, super soft. In the summertime, or if you're in a place that's just humid, this is all you need. You just spray it all over and then just go. But in the winter when you apply this and then apply moisturizer over it, it's just next level soft smoothness. You really feel like it's plumping your skin out in a way that just regular water doesn't do. I mean, it's, it's like when you're using a hydrating toner on your face. This is also long lasting. It's not like water that eventually evaporates and disappears. It just keeps everything plump and smooth for a really long time. So this is um, a very simple formulation, which is geared towards just hydration. It's got the sodium hyaluronic po cross polymer in it and other humectants. If you have dry dehydrated skin on your body, but you have acne, I think this is a great product for that. I also think this is something that guys will particularly love as well. Um, it's got a really nice, refreshing, citrusy scent to it. That's just, I love the scent. 
Another skin hydrator that I absolutely love, especially during the summer and sometimes during the winter as well, are the aloe gels. This aloe soothing gel by Isentree is actually for the face. It is such a beautiful one. I actually like using it on my body as well. But this is so intensely hydrating and it's long wear hydrating. In the summer, it's just perfectly lightweight, refreshing. This has 50% aloe vera, which is extracted from Californian aloe. And the other 50% of this formulation is just really pleasant. I really feel like this is a much better balance of soothing ingredients than some of the other um, aloe vera products that are 99% aloe and, and whatnot. Concept. As far as body moisturizers go, there is a new concept that I did talk about a little bit last year in my body skin entertainment video, which is sort of the in-shower moisturizer. This is from Natura Brazil. The Maracuja Triple Phase Shower Oil. Well, this is an in-shower body moisturizing oil. I have so much love and respect for this brand, which I consider a very important one, and for this product. This is my favorite of their entire line. And right now, I just started using the Maracuja because I think it's perfect for this drier weather. An in-shower oil treatment is basically something that you use right after cleansing. While you're still in the shower, you just kind of smooth this all over your body, and then you rinse it off and your skin will be really soft and moisturized. There's not going to be any greasiness there, but there's definitely, you've got a moisturized layer. Like after I'm using like an exfoliating cleanser or treatment like this, then I just apply that immediately and my skin will be softer than like, you really don't need to apply any other moisturizer on afterwards, even after toweling off, it's kind of in there. It's kind of like the oil, the moisturization is already in your skin. So I do want to talk a little bit about Natura Brazil. All their products are vegan, they're cruelty free, they don't, you know, put in cheap fillers like mineral oils, um, petrolatum, no PABAs, no parabens. This is probably one of the most known brands in Brazil that finally just landed in the US. They're most famous for, and I would say important because they're very well known for using indigenous native ingredients from the Amazonian rainforest in a sustainable way. They use acai, patanga, maracuja, but they also provide work for the indigenous tribes. In fact, a lot of their formulations and ingredients are inspired by these tribes and what they use to as medicine to heal and soothe their skin. So back to this triple face shower oil. As you can see, there are three layers to this, which is really kind of cool. Their main layer here is their maracuja oil, which is such a rich, wonderful moisturizing oil for the body. It's rich in omega-6s, which makes it perfect for locking in the moisture in your body, especially if you're in the shower. This is super comforting and nourishing for your skin, especially after you've just exfoliated. It will leave your skin feeling like velvet. I do want to say that these Brazilian products are not for the faint of nose. The scents are not subtle. That is something you might want to keep in mind if you are very sensitive to scent. Oil. Special mention for the other oil that I talked about in my last year's video, which is the Too Cool for School Oil Mousse. That is still one of my favorites, but I will link that review down below and, and up there. Body moisturizers, personally, I prefer the lightweight ones, the ones that just absorb into your skin really quickly and don't leave any greasy residue, it's not invasive at all, will not transfer onto clothes or anything like that. I talked about this in my last month's favorites, which is Beliefs Body Bomba Lemon Verbena Body Cream. It's sort of on the lightweight side, immediately super fast absorbing, but it keeps your skin feeling really velvety soft. It's got that same beautiful texture of the moisturizing balm for your face. It's also got the same formula with the apothecary and herbs in it. Um, this just has an, a stronger sort of lemon verbena scent, which is really a very herbal kind of lemon scent, but I absolutely love it. I wanna try all the other scents after this one is done, but yeah. So that's it for my body care favorites. Please let me know what you guys are using and loving. I, I just love learning from all of you. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'm wishing you great skin health. Bye.